I just want to praise the Lord this morning. Ever since I woke up this morning, he's been talking to me. And when he's talking, I, 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 just want, I just want to sit down and listen. I mean, I didn't even want to, I didn't even, well, I didn't want to even, after I got out of the shower, I didn't want to move from where I was at this morning because I didn't want to miss the word he had to say. Mm. I didn't want to miss the word he had to say, but I, but I knew that, that that word will not go out void, and that word is just not supposed to stay with me. It's supposed to be shared. So as I was uh, heading here this morning, man, God was talking. Everybody asked me how I was doing this morning. I go, man, I'm good. The Lord's talking. He's speaking. He's moving and stuff. And I thank you for the testimonies this morning. I thank you for the worship, Lord. You've been so good to us. Thank you. Did I mention that I love him? How I worship and adore him. When I see the way he, he makes a way, did I mention he's been faithful to every promise he's ever made? I love him, that's all I want to say. I love him this morning. Man, he's so good. He's so good. And I don't know why. I, I don't know if y'all notice the pattern when I've been here on Sunday mornings and when I've been preaching and stuff. I, I didn't notice the pattern this morning because he didn't tell me the pattern until this morning. But I've been preaching. I've been preaching out of Genesis uh, and other places I started with Abraham. Uh, and then I came here uh, with Isaac and about am un unstopping the wells. Uh, then the other night I go to a lot of churches, but uh, I preach here uh, mostly and over at Walnut Grove. Then I went back over to Walnut Grove uh, and I talked about Jacob. Uh, and this morning, uh, he brought me into Joseph, but he's talking about the blessing of God. Uh, what we are grafted into uh, by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, what we are adopted into by the spirit of adoption. Uh, and I'm thanking for that this morning. Uh, you know, uh, I, that Jacob, uh, he wrestled with God. Uh, he, and he wrestled with God. He said, I'm not letting go until you bless me. Uh, and, and he popped his hip out. Uh, and, and he asked him, who are you? Uh, and he said, hey, uh, and never mind that. Uh, but and then he said, "Hey, uh, your new name is Israel. Uh, yeah. You're a prince, uh, and because of this, you now have power with God and man." He told me, "Have power with God and man." And here's Jacob. And now, uh, at this time, he did, he had uh, all the boys, uh, but he didn't have uh, he didn't have Joseph at this time. But now he has Joseph, uh, and he didn't have Benjamin. But we get here, and the Lord was speaking this morning. And I want to start in Genesis chapter uh, 37 and uh, verse uh, uh, 23. And i got to get myself calmed down because I get so excited when the Lord's talking. But I want you to understand the message as clear as he gave it to me. In Genesis chapter 37, starting with verse 23, And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brethren, that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, the coat of many colors that was on him. So up until this point, Joseph, he had a dream that made his brothers upset. He had a dream. God had showed him something that, that the family was going to bow down to him. Is God gave you a plan in your life this morning? We've already heard one testimony, uh, and I thank the Lord because God showed me you two this morning when He was talking to me, uh, and uh, that they're here this morning, uh, and they said God showed us this ministry, uh, and you know they've held on to it, they believed in it, uh, and I guarantee you, in those times, it's been up and down. When's it coming? Uh, hey, uh, I'm working so hard. When it's going to be here, Lord? Uh, everything else, uh, and so Joseph sees. Uh, he sees that they're all going to bow down to him. And Joseph, he wasn't, uh, I, don't, he, I don't think he was bragging when he was telling his brothers or anything else. Uh, it's that Joseph was in a different place uh, than the rest of his family. Uh, he was under the favor of Jacob uh, because Jacob loved Rachel uh, and that was his son with Rachel. And he was in a different place. Uh, and his dad made him special. He gave him this coat uh, and here it was uh, that he said, hey, uh, your brothers uh, are out tended to the sheep uh, and they spent the whole day together uh, see it was just like Mary and Martha all the other boys were out 
work. And uh, why Joseph was enjoying the best part of his learning. But he says, go out there and check on your brothers. Uh, he goes to check on their brothers. Uh, and they're not there. They're over in Naboth. Uh, concocting a scheme. Uh, how to get rid of the one that daddy loves. Uh, I'm telling you right now, there's an enemy. Uh, concocting a scheme. Uh, right. Trying to get rid of the ones that yeah. the father loves. Right. Uh, the ones right. that he gave him a plan. Uh, the ones that he gave him a purpose. Uh, the ones he's given virtue to. Uh, the ones uh, that are stepping out uh, away from this world. Uh, making themselves separate. And say, hey, I don't want you to die. Yeah. I want to bring you in. Uh, yeah. I don't want you to get yeah. into the kingdom. Uh, right. and get out of this world. Uh, but there's an enemy uh, that's trying to disrupt that. Uh, there's an enemy uh, that's trying to destroy that. Uh, they get like uh, that Joseph uh, was in the favor of his father. The devil does not like uh, that you're in the favor of the father this morning. That he's speaking from the time he got up. Uh, that he gave you a ministry. Uh, that he gave you a calling. Uh, that he gave you a vision. Uh, but he's saying hold on to it this morning. Uh, no matter what happens, uh, hold on to it this morning. Yes. And Joseph shows us a perfect example in his life how to hold on to it. So it says, and they, they took the coat of many colors that was on him. They stripped it off of him. And this is what God said this morning. The first thing that I woke up, he said, it's not what you're in, it's what's in you. It's not what you're in. It's what in, what's in you. Yeah. He was in a family that wanted him dead. He was in a family uh, that didn't like him. He was in a family that was going to do everything to steal their joy because they didn't have it themselves. Yeah. They were in a family uh, that wanted to tear him down, make him lower and strip him away. Yes, he was in the favor of the father, but his brothers uh, couldn't stand him. Uh, oh, he's going to rule over us. Uh, oh, he's going to show us the way. Oh, they're going to bow down to us. Uh, no. Uh, but see, Joseph realized that uh, it was it wasn't what he was in. Uh, it was what was in him. Uh, yeah. See, Daddy made me that coat uh, because I'm special. Because the blessing was on me. Uh, the blessing was in him. Uh, just like it was in Abraham. Uh, just like it was in Isaac. Uh, just like it was in Jacob. Uh, and now it was passed down to Joseph. Uh, and that blessing is in him. Uh, don't let what you're in uh, affect the blessing uh, that's in you. Uh, that blessing in ministry uh, is in you, uh, Daddy. Jesse and Michael, uh, yeah. and guess what? Uh, I'm sharing uh, what's in me this morning. Uh, yeah. I'm not sharing what you're in. Uh, yeah. I'm going to share yeah. what's in me this morning. Uh, and that's uh, a blood bought, uh, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. Thank Somebody's you, Thank excited you, Jesus. Uh, to serve Thank Jesus, you, Jesus Christ uh, because what He done for yes. me, uh, I'm going to share uh, not yes. what we're in this morning, uh, but what's in yes. me. Yes. 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 So he was in that coat. They stripped that coat off. They stripped off. It wasn't about that coat. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It wasn't about that coat. Hey, his father gave him that coat. The father has given us many things. Mm. Yes, amen. He has given us many things. Yes. He's given us many blessings. Everything else. And we put, sometimes we get distracted by those blessings. Yeah. Because when those blessings get stolen away, because of the season that we're in, mm. we think that everything's gone. Yes, we right. think that Joseph knew <laughs> that it wasn't going. You're still going to bow down to me. Mm. Strip the coat off me, you're still going to bow down to me. Mm. God showed me that. Yeah, His yeah, promises yeah. are yes and amen. Yes, yes. I, he said, hey, you're still, it's all right. It's all right. You're still going to bow down to me. David, there's a giant. It's all right. I was anointed to be king. I'm not king yet, so this giant cannot yeah. touch me. That's I'm right. fighting with what's in me, not what I'm in. Right. He said, so I can't. I can't put on that armor. I can't use that. Hey, uh, what I would be in would make no difference. I'm fighting with what's in me. Yes, yes. Here, Joseph, they took it off of him, and they took him and they cast him into a pit. And the pit was empty there, and there was no water in it. Once again, it's not what you're in. Yes, amen. It's what in you. Amen. He amen. was in a pit. We've all been in a pit before. Mm. And we've been cast there. We've allowed 
loved ones, family, other church members, other people, what they've said, what they've done, how they've reacted yeah. to throw us into a pit. Yes, you're right. But it's not yes, you're what right. we're in. Yes. It's what's in us. <laughs> so Joseph is up. Oh, well, they threw me in a pit. God showed me. They're going to bow him. And they're going to serve me. They're going to bow him. They're going to serve me. So here we are again. And they took him and they cast him into a pit. And it was empty there and there was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread and they lifted up their eyes and they looked and behold, a company of Ishmaelites came yeah. from Gilead with their camels bearing spicery and balm and myrrh going to carry it down to Egypt. And Judah said unto his brother, What profit is it that we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelite and let our hand be upon him. For he is our brother and our flesh. And his brethren were content. Yeah. So here they are. They, th then there passed by many a night's merchant men, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver and brought Joseph into Egypt. Mm. Now I want you to flip with me over to Genesis chapter 39. I want you to notice something about Joseph as we get further into this. Joseph was always second in command. No matter where Joseph went, That's right. he was yeah. always yeah. second in command. He was second in command to Jacob. It said that, that Jacob said, That's my favorite son. Yeah. He came in. Yeah. He was second in command there. So they got rid of him. He was in a pit. Now he's in slavery. Now he's in slavery. How hard is it to see what's inside of you uh, when you're in a pit yeah. or you're in slavery? Yeah. You're in slavery. Hey, I couldn't see what was inside of me once when I was in slavery. I couldn't see uh, what the Lord had planned for my life. Uh, I couldn't see how all these things were going on because I knew as a little young man, I knew uh, that God had purpose for my life. Uh, was yeah. I not, I wasn't saved yet, uh, but I know that he chosen me for a purpose uh, because I can never ever, uh, anytime I passed the Bible, uh, I picked up and read it. I was a slave to sin. Uh, I was drinking yes. every day, uh, running right. around every night, but at the end of the yes. night, it came back to that Bible, uh, yeah. and it came back uh, to reading that yeah. and crying all night long, Lord, uh, oh, if you take me tonight, I'm going to hell. Uh, if you take me right now, I was a slave, but yeah. I couldn't see, uh, I couldn't see uh, what was in me. Uh, all I could see uh, was what I was in. Uh, I was in a world. Uh, I was in deceit. Uh, I was in lies. Uh, I was in darkness. Yeah. Uh, but one day, uh, he changed all that. Uh, yeah. One day, uh, I was yeah. sitting Thank right you, back, back, right back there, third seat up, bro. Yeah. Uh, and Tim Bell was preaching Psalms 40. Uh, mm. And I just knew uh, I had to come out of the Mari pit uh, and say, Yes. Upon the solid rock, yes. I, I knew I wanted a new song in my yes. heart. I, I knew uh, that things had to change. Uh, in that day, uh, yes. it stopped uh, from what was I was yes. in uh, to what was in me. Uh, yes. And I said, Yes, uh, everything changed. Uh, yes. All things were old, uh, and behold, all things uh, become new. Uh, I was born again. Uh, and I know there was a day for you that that same thing happened. Uh, and when you were born again, uh, yeah. It stopped from going what you was in uh, to what yeah. was in you. Uh, That's but right. There's times uh, that that family still wants to throw you in a pit. Uh, there's times uh, that the enemy uh, yeah. still wants to put you in the bondage, uh, still wants to enslave you. Uh, but we need to know, like Joseph knew, uh, it's not uh, what you read, but it's what's in you. Yeah, that's and right. That's you. right. That's and right. A blessing, uh, Amen. That for Abraham. Uh, Amen. A blessing that worked Amen. For Isaac. Yes. Uh, there's a blessing that worked for Jacob. Uh, yes. And there was a blessing that was working for Joseph. Uh, yes. And I'm grafted in to that blessing uh, by the spirit of adoption. Uh, and there's a blessing uh, that's working in my life. Uh, there's a blessing that's working in Tim's life. Uh, there's a blessing uh, that's yes. working in uh, uh, Michael and Jesse's yes. life. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. There's a blessing that's working in your life this morning. Amen. 
Because it's in you. Yes, yes, It's yes. in you. It's not what you're in. Yes. It's in you. If people were to look what I'm in, they wouldn't see much. Mm. They would see, hey, he just is just a old ratty coat and many colors. Dad made for him. No look, he just a shepherd. Like mm -hmm. the rest of them out there. Just a shepherd. Just poor, lowly, meek. Hey, when mm -hmm. they looked at Jesus, they saw somebody who was poor. Yeah. Who was lowly yes. and meek. Yes. Guess what? I'm glad uh, that I'm not in this world. Uh, oh, but yeah. I'm of the kingdom. Uh, and what's inside of me uh, is meek. And he says, the meek shall inherit the mm. earth. Uh, yes. I'm glad uh, that yes. hey, uh, one day uh, that I'm, uh, I'm just walking through this whole place right mm. now. Uh, but one day we're going to be kings and priests. Yes. Uh, yes. And we're going to roll with the king and Thank kings, you, Lord. Uh, Thank you. Oh, one day uh, that the people are going to bow down just like the vision yeah. uh, and is bowed down to Joseph. Uh, one day uh, we're going to be a rulers uh, in a yeah. new heaven, in a new earth, uh, serving with you, our Savior. Uh, yeah. I'm yes. looking forward to that day. Uh, I'm not yes. looking in uh, at what I'm in right now. Yes. I'm not looking at the world the way yeah. it is. Uh, I'm looking right. at what's inside of me. Uh, and there's a kingdom yeah. in there. Uh, there's a yeah. priest. Uh, there's a king. Uh, hey, uh, I'm looking at that. Uh, I'm going forward. Uh, yes. I'm marching with him. Uh, I'm staying on the straight narrow uh, because I know That's what's right. coming. Uh, Thank Joseph you, Father. knew uh, what was coming. Uh, he got out of the pit. Uh, he got into slavery. Uh, but they're still going to bow down to him. Yes. They're still going to bow down yes. to him. Yes. Amen. So here he is. Finds his way out of slavery. Why? Because he knew what was in him. Yeah. It was a blessing in favor of God. Amen. Amen. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt and to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him in the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man. Yes. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw the Lord was with him. Yeah. We can change that in him. His master said uh, the Lord was with him. Not only was he with him, but he was in him. Yeah. And the Lord made yeah. all that he did pro to yes. prosper yes. in his hand. And Joseph found grace. In his sight, and he served him, and he made him overseer of his house and all that he had put into his hand. And it came to pass from the time that he made him overseer in the house and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian house. And for Joseph's sake, and the blessing of the Lord was upon the blessing of the Lord was in all that he had in the house yeah. and in the field. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand. And he knew not he had to save bread, the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. <laughs> and it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. And she said, lie with me. So here's Joseph is again. He was in the pit, but it didn't matter what he was in. It didn't matter what was in him. He was in slavery. It didn't matter. Yes. He was sold. He yes. was bought. He was sold and bought again. Yes. And he worked his way out of slavery into being in charge. Mm. See, the world will try to restrain you. The enemy will try yes. to restrain That's you. Right. Because what's in you. I, absolutely. Yes. Yes. You can rule here. Just like the day we're going to rule there. You know how he did it? It's because he saw that God was with him. He saw that God was in him. He saw that God favored him. Hey, even enemies take notice. Even demons yes. take notice right. mm. of yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. They right. will take notice. Yes. They'll take notice in your life. It says to yes. make yourself unto God and resist mm. the enemy yes. and he will mm. flee. Yes. When you Amen. submit, yes. when you yes. understand what's in you, uh, not what you're in, uh, yes. when you start living in what's in you uh, and not what you're surrounded mm. by, yes. the enemy knows uh, that, hey, uh, the favor of God is on him. Yes. He's a blessing. He's mm. an anointing. I can't even enter 
in. I can't even go around him. And guess what? I can't go around the place he's in. I can't go around the place he's in. I can't touch uh, Jesse Michael's ministry. I can't touch the things uh, that are going around. You know why I couldn't touch that Egyptian house? Uh, Because uh, he wasn't focused uh, on me. He was focused on Jesus. I can't touch uh, what is the Lord's. I need you to understand uh, what's in you. uh, Because if you do, uh, the enemy can't touch it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But here it comes. Here it comes. You know there's an any time God's word. There's an adversary. Oh, yeah. Mm. There's an adversary. Everything is given in to Joseph. He has the cattle, he has the house, he's ruler over everything. Mm. What they say, what he says, they have to do. <laughs> yeah. And then here comes Potiphar's wife. Well he does that's how the enemy works. Absolutely. When he sees power in a ministry, yeah. when he sees power in anointing, mm. he can't touch it Absolutely. when you're under the anointing. Yeah. But when you come out, he'll try he'll try to sink his dirty balls into it. Absolutely. He'll try to grab a hold of it. He'll try to destroy Amen. it. Amen. He'll try to get you in a pit. He'll try to get you into slavery. Amen. He'll try to get you uh, get your eyes of what what's in, off what's in you. Yes. Amen. And in what's around you. Yes, that's right. So here it is, Paul for his wife goes, lie with me, lie with me. Old Joseph goes, that ain't a good idea. <laughs> that ain't a good idea. Yeah, you're right. But how many times have we walked through this where, man, the anointing's been strong, God's been blessing the ministry, yes. God's been blessing our life, everything else, everything starts to slow down, it gets calm, uh, we find ourselves uh, all by ourselves, not yeah. thinking anything. Yeah. Man, we, we ain't praising anymore. We ain't thinking. Yeah. We're just, man, we're worn out. Yeah. How many knows when you work in an anointing, huh? when you're out of it, you're plumb worn out. Huh? Mm. You're plumb worn out. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And you know how many knows uh, that we, he, when he come uh, unto Jesus 40 days and 40 nights uh, with nothing to eat, with nothing yeah. to drink, Jesus was plumb worn out. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He was coming yeah. out of uh, just being baptized, not only being uh, baptized in the water baptism. Them, uh, but it said uh, the one uh, that the spirit uh, like a dove descended yes. down that remaineth on him is the one who can baptize with the Holy Ghost right. and fire. Yes. Uh, the yes. one who just got right. the spirit of the Lord uh, not only uh, with him but remaining in him. Yes. Uh, the spirit uh, will not always strive with man uh, but that's the one who was to remain on uh, right. was Jesus Christ. Uh, right. How many know uh, that he just got an anointing. Uh, he just got in a way. Uh, he just got a ministry. Uh, how many know after that day, he had to go out and seek the Father. Yeah. He had to resist the enemy. He had to win that mm. battle in the wilderness. Yeah. He had to let his daughter church know you, that it can be done. You, Joseph let us know it can be done. Thank Jesus, you, Jesus. Done. Thank Jesus you, let us know it can be done. Yes, yes, no, yes. we can Thank do you, it you, in the name of Jesus. Yes, right. In the name of Jesus. Here was. Lie with me. Lie with me. Oh, the liar will always try to get you into bed with him. Yeah, the liar will always try to get you into bed with him. Yes. And uh, guess what? We've all stumbled and failed. Mm. I ain't saying you slept with anybody's wife, uh, but I'm saying uh, you gave in to temptation. Yes. I'd be yes. a liar say if I never yes. gave in to temptation. Right. Right. Yes. You Amen. gave in to temptation because everything was going good. Uh, yes. Everything uh, was serving the Lord. Everything was, uh, hey, you had a hold. You had a grasp mm. and everything else. Uh, and then uh, this comes along, comes out of nowhere. Uh, mm. You know why it comes out of nowhere? Uh, because it's trying to gets you uh, in, uh, out of what's in you uh, and what's in him. Mm. It's trying to get you in the darkness. Uh, yeah. It's trying to pull you out like it's trying to pull you out of the anointing. Amen. Amen. When you're not working in that anointing, that's when you tax. Absolutely. When you're not working in that ministry, that's when you tax. Absolutely. Yeah. When you're out of the way, she waited till he was all alone. Yeah. To where he wasn't working <coughs> in God's plan. Lie mm. with me. The devil comes to us every day. Yeah. When we take a little break, when we take a little rest, when we kick yeah. up our feet, lie with me. Lie with me. Don't lie with a liar. Right. Don't lie with a liar. Remember what's in you. Right. And what's in you 
is greater than what's in this world. Yes, Remember that you have the power and authority because what Jesus Christ did on an old rugged cross. Amen. Remember Amen. who you serve. Yes. Remember who died for you. Remember everything that he's blessed you with and everywhere he's brought you from. And just stand up another time. It's all we look so far down the road. Can I stand up if this is going on? Can I stand up if this is going on? Can I stand up if this is going on? Hey, it's one day at a time. You can stand up the next Next time, surely build yourself up on your most high faith. Uh, that I ain't looking down the road. Uh, but when it comes to the next time, I uh, surely uh, can stand up the next time. Uh, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me uh, for all the days of my life. Amen. Amen. Yes. I can surely stand up the next time. <clears throat> hey, we don't have to go from here to there. We don't have to go from here to there to there. <coughs> saying, uh, it's not a man. This thing is a marathon, it's not a sprint. That's right. Hey, yes, yes. We just need to understand what's in <coughs> us and grab a hold of that and not what we're in. But she said, Lie with me. But he refused. And he said unto his master's wife, <coughs> My master, what is not what is with me in the house? And he hath committed all that he hath in my hand. There is none greater in the house than I, <clears throat> neither hath he kept back anything from me but th thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And it came to pass, as he spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. And it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business and there was none of the men <coughs> of the me. house there with him. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand. And he fled and got him out. And it came to pass, when she saw that he had left the garment in her hand, and was fled forth. She called unto the men of her house, and she spake unto them, saying, See, he hath brought in a Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me but to lie with me, and I cried with a